In this video we are going to turn this Republic of Cones which we created in the previous tutorial into a Republic of Fishes. So the first step we need to do is import the GLTF loader in the Skeleton Utils module which we'll use to clone our model. Next we'll create an instance of the GLTF loader and load the GLB file. Now we'll take this block of code which we used to create and link the 50 cones to the vehicle instances and put it within the load callback function. And here since we want to replace the cones with copies from the model, we'll get rid of the geometry in mesh creation code and replace it with this cloning instruction. By the way, I made a tutorial explaining in details why we need to use skeleton utils to clone the model, I'll leave you the link to it in the description below. And there we go, our cones turned into fishes, but as you can see they are not animated, so let's animate them. As I've explained in that video we can animate multiple clones by creating a mixer for every model, however that's in a case where we want to achieve a set of animations with each one of them setting one clone in a different state than the others. An example of what I'm trying to say is a walking animation, even though we want the models to have the same walking animation, we wouldn't want them to move and change their walking steps in the exact same manner if that makes sense. Having said that, in this example the difference won't be noticeable because of the movement of the fishes in different directions, which means that we can use one single mixer to animate the 50 clones at the same time. To do that we are going to use what it is called an animation object group, which essentially holds all the models that share the same exact animations. So the first thing we are going to do is create a global variable for the mixer and another local variable for the animations. Next we'll create an instance of the animation object group and the rest is almost the same as we do usually to animate the imported models except that here we'll pass the animation object group to the animation mixer constructor. Another additional step we need to do is add each clone to the animation object group. And then of course we'll need to update our mixer with the delta time. And that's it. Make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.